talking about those days, about Lyle and me, still hurts. It's very difficult. The memories are still very powerful, Cruz. I understand that, Sophia. But honestly, we have to get to the bottom of these secrets. And for your sake as well as Eden's. Secrets! That's the secret boy. Give that Venice a go. Oh. Mason, if you don't mind, we're right in the middle of something. Yes, I can sense that. The air is positively fraught with tension. And I don't see Dad lurking anywhere. Where is he? Whither are thou, Dad? He's out, Dad. Mason. He's not here. Well, then I'll wait. Tell me what you were discussing. Please don't mind me. Eden's memory has started to come back regarding certain events of the past. Sophia was just helping me piece together a time frame for the period immediately prior to her disappearance, which seems to be the period Eden is focusing on. I see. So you think that whatever Sophia and Lionel were doing behind closed doors is what ultimately unhinged one of Eden's. I think all of this is connected somehow. The stolen tiara, the picture of Sophia and Lionel that was left in its stead, the, the gun that killed Channing that keeps appearing and disappearing, apparently planted and, and replanted by Andre's accomplice. And Sophia blowing back into town in drag, lest anyone forget who wears the pants in this family. Stop it, Mason! Just stop it. I have tried to understand your anger and your frustration. I've tried to see your point of view. I have tried to be sympathetic. I have told Cece, don't bar him from the house. He's a member of this family, an important member of this family. But you stop taking this whole situation lightly and you leave me alone. I'm sincerely grateful, Sophia. And <laughs> I'm not grateful at all. God, life has more layers than lasagna, not half as tasty. All right, the accomplice. Who hates Sophia enough to single her out and make her life hell on earth? Well, eliminating Sophia herself, of course. The list reads like a veritable who's who of Santa Barbara. Gina, Augusta, Lionel, with a me, of course. And I don't have a verifiable alibi for any of the periods of time in question. And God knows I don't lack for motive. Mason, with all due respect, it's Eden's anger toward her mother that is the catalyst here. You see, Sophia, no matter how gently it's expressed, no one escapes your past unscathed. I warned you about that only a few days ago of the hazards you're exposing the family to because you insist on raking up your misspent youth. But nobody listens to me. Well, let me amend that. Nobody hears what I have to say. If it makes you feel any better, I have lived my life with guilt as my constant companion. This is not meant as an attack on you. And if you, for a change, could say something that made sense... Then the world would fly out of its orbit and fall in on itself like a dark star. Cruz, for God's sake, end this madness. Cauterize your wife's wounds and let them heal. Stop picking at the past. It just festers and spreads and the rot sets in and finally the only recourse you have is to cut it out like a cancer and pray that the cure doesn't kill the patient in the process. Mason, this has nothing to do with you. Believe me, I would love to blame it on you, but I can't because it only has to do with Eden and me. The rest of you had plenty of chance to vent your anger and your hate toward me when I left and when I came back, and plenty of chance to eventually forgive me. Oh, Eden forgave you, too. She just didn't know what it was she was forgiving you for, or at what cost. And then she found out that she could take it back, sort of tie a string around it, and just when you thought it was within your grasp, pull it away. Well, that's what she's doing, isn't it? It's sort of a reverse metamorphosis whereby she's reclaiming herself by rising out of your ashes. God, what a wonderful sight! I could almost kiss the ground she's walking on. Everyone's so terrified that it would just open up underneath her and swallow her whole. Whatever differences Sophia and Eden had or are having, their resolution is not going to affect the bond between them. If anything, it'll probably be stronger for the efforts they've gone to to save it. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're right. However, if there is a choice, I hereby cast my ballot with Eden. May she prevail. I'll do everything I can to ensure that. Call me if you need me. Oh, Sophia. Small suggestion. If you're serious about wanting to find out what's wrong with Eden, you said you would live with guilt as your constant companion. Try to be more faithful to this companion than you were to the others. <laughs>